uh, we're going to make sure that we are getting them to the doctors. It's amazing how a lot of times they won't treat. They'll wait. They'll say, well, I hope it gets better. Well, if they need medical treatment, they need to get it right then. Because if they don't, then an adjuster or a defense attorney is going to argue in the future. They're going to say, well, if you were hurt, why would you wait 30 days? Or why would you wait 45 days so you're to making the it doctor? Up, kind of. You're making being it up. You're making it up. But if you do what is best for your health, it's often best for your case, too. Because then you've got a doctor who says, yes, I saw you on this date. And if it's right on the date of the accident or close to it, and then you continue to get the treatment you need. Do you actually need. get involved to make sure that they go to the right type of doctor, that they don't end up at a chiropractor, they should be at a neurosurgeon? I mean, are you involved to make sure that the right doctors are seeing, so the right documentation is there and the right uh, damages are established early on? We, we do. I mean, we try our best to give them options. We, get, we advise them. We give them, I don't want to just give them one name. I want to give them several names of doctors that I think would be good doctors for them to talk to because some cases, I mean, typically the treatment plan that's usually the best on most cases is the one where they get treatment as soon as they're in pain. They follow up with their family doctor or with a chiropractor or physical therapist. They treat with conservative care, which may be prescriptions, maybe physical therapy, maybe chiropractic for a period of time. If you're not better, then you don't want to keep doing it. I mean, maybe you do it for six weeks, and then you see the specialist because you need to get to the bottom of what's really wrong. So